Hello, everyone. I'm so glad you could join us today. Today, no, don't say that. Hello, everyone. I'd like to thank you for joining us. My name is Dr. Rachel Goldenberg, and I am joined today by my colleague and friend, Jessica DeMars. Hmm, I'm gonna do that a couple times. Just gotta speak right to the camera. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I am getting ready today to film a video lecture for the virtual NATS conference. That's the National Association of Teachers of Singing. Their conference was to be held at the end of June in Knoxville, Tennessee. And I was very excited to be a part of it because frankly, presenting at the National NATS conference has always been a dream of mine. I was born for academia and I have always wanted to be one of those presenters at one of these big conferences and I finally got my chance and COVID happened and it was canceled. Luckily, we have been fortunate enough to be able to move online and I am very much looking forward to filming this with my colleague and dear friend, Jessica DeMars from Breathe Well Physio. We will be talking about our program called Breathe, Sing, Move, which is our program that combines physiotherapy with singing lessons to help people with respiratory disease. And um, I am looking forward to putting that together in the next, well, it'll be about five minutes from now. And I thought I'd throw together a quick tutorial on how I did my makeup for this particular session. When you are presenting at a conference, there are two things that are critical. One is that you are very comfortable. You do not want to be worrying about your outfit or your makeup or how you look. The audience will always forgive you for any mistake you make, but they will never make, they will never forgive you for making them feel uncomfortable. So if you're uncomfortable, they'll feel uncomfortable. So you must be comfortable. Second, you should dress for the content. This is a costume. So for this particular topic, I haven't chosen something particularly loud, but at the same time, I have given consideration to the fact that I will be close up and that you might see me looking down. And so the cat wing gives a little bit of interest to that. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks. So I've already done my base and my eyebrows off camera. Those don't change. If you're interested in videos of me doing my eyebrows or how I like to do my base, let me know in the comments. I'd love to do a video tutorial of those processes. For today, I'm going to start with my Shake Your Pom Poms palette. This is a great little travel palette that I've used for many years. And uh, for many years, who am I kidding? I started using it. I took it, I bought it for the trip. That's right. I bought it for the trip to Scotland when I found out that I was going to be presenting at this conference. That's right, now I remember. So I'm just gonna take this color right here, this nice color, and I'm going to begin by placing that in my crease. Nice little side swipes. The day I found out that I was going to be doing this. I was in Scotland with my friend and we've been out all day touring around and I got the email when we got back to the hotel room. Continuing in a moment, I'm going to go in now with the darker color and got the email saying that my abstract had been accepted and I immediately burst into tears and my friend had been in the other room. <laughs> And so when I came back, there I was just bawling. I was so happy and so excited because as I said, this has always been a dream of mine. And he didn't really quite know what happened because I was just so, 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 so happy. And I'll tell you, that was a real test of my waterproof eyeliner, which turns out is not waterproof. Mind you, I'd been out all day, so I'll give it a little bit of credit. So still working to find some shape here. other side.
And I'm going to go in with my flat brush and I'm going to pick up this beautiful gold color here. Go all over the mobile lid. It's just unfortunate, you know, with COVID, I can't be the only one whose academic dreams are kind of being slowed down here. But at least with a video, you know, you can um, do your makeup nicely. <laughs> and correct things and edit it. It's just all over the mobile lid. Not looking for a lot of kapow with this look because I want it to be about me and the content. Also, I'm only giving a short introduction where you'll see me up close. The rest will be, you know, with the PowerPoint. More. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Just to finish off the lower lid, I'm going to go back in with a pencil brush and I'm going to pick up this color again and just shade underneath my eyelashes there. I'm really working just the outer corner here. I want my eyes to elongate. If I were doing a live lecture, I might consider going much bigger with my makeup, but because this one is up close, I don't want it to be too distracting from the message. Pretty happy with how this has gone. So now I'm going to move on with my eyeliner. I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs skinny liner. And I'm going to go underneath, whoops, I gotta roll it up here. I'm gonna go underneath my lash line. I do want a thick lash line. I want my eyes to be defined. It's not that you're going for a no makeup look, it's that you're going for a enhanced look, an enhanced look. What happens when I talk and makeup at the same time? but there isn't any mistake that can't be corrected. I mean, you might have to make much more of an effort, but whatever. Okay, so you can see now I've quite defined my lash line even just by going underneath. And I will do a liquid eyeliner look. This happens to be the same eyeliner I used when I was in Scotland, the, one, the same one that ran all over the place, but it held up for like 12 hours out in Scotland. So, you know, that's pretty good. This is Ico, I do liquid eyeliner. Might be near the end of its life. Let's see. So liquid liner is a bit finicky. And this is how I do it. I'll try to stand nice and close so you can see. I'm going to start by just going from the middle of my eye, you must relax your face and look straight ahead. You don't want to distort your proportions here and move your skin. And then following my waterline, that's right here, I'm going to go straight up and sketch it out. And then, and then you can lift your eyelid to fill it out. Remember, you can always go more. See how lovely that is? I do 
take my eye my eyeliner all the way to the lash line in the inner corner but in a thin thin line and then just fill it out Don't go too far on the wing. And the reason is you still have one side to do. And if this one goes farther, then you're gonna be, wanna be able to adjust this. As I said in a previous video, they need to be sisters, not twins. So don't get too stressed out, but it does help to not go too far so that you can adjust it. Et voila, there we go. And so you can see when I'm looking down, I look quite nice, gives a little bit of interest without it being too distracting. I think this is at the end of its life. I might have to order a new one. Well, I have some other liquid liners that I've been quite enjoying lately. And as I say, this just sort of elongates the eye, lifts it up, it's quite lovely. Moving on with my mascara my trusty Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. Wouldn't have it any other way. And on my lower lash line, my trusty MAC Extended Play Jigga Black Lash Mascara. I'm gonna use that as a warm up. That's a great tongue twister, isn't it? I mean, let's be honest. When I'm doing my makeup, it's very often when I practice my speeches, what I'm going to say. All right, I'm a bit pasty today. Actually, that's not true. Wanna see something terrible? I got a terrible, terrible sunburn yesterday. You can tell exactly where I missed my sunscreen. Yikes, don't do that. I'm wearing much better foundation today. I'll link to that in the, uh, in the comments too. All right, so I'm gonna use my Tartist Pro Glow palette to add some dimension to my face. Some bronzing powder here. And again, working. Just add that in. Any excess. Adding a little bit into my hairline here, dimension to the face. You can see the difference between the two sides, right? It's these subtle things that make a difference. I shouldn't be doing this into the monitor. But then again, this is the camera I will be using. And then it's nice to just take a bigger fluffy brush down onto the neckline. Does this count as laryngeal massage? <laughs> it's feather dusting. I'm gonna put this away for a moment and I'm going to get out my blush palette. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in pool, poolside, pool party. And I'm going to mix these two colors here with my thicker brush. And that is going to make my color placement quite precise. And remember, you can always build this up. Never want to look washed out.
Now for a little highlight. For what it's worth, you can use these colors. Here's a nice, you can use this as a blush, you can use this as a highlight, and you can use this as a contour when you're traveling. It's, it's possible and it's, it's, not, it's not terrible. A bit more pigmented because remember eyeshadows have more pigment than a blush or a bronzer does, but it, it works if you're looking for your saving space. All right, back to my Pro Glow, Pro Glow palette. I'm going to go into Stunner here. Ooh, that shows up on the monitor. Check that out. Nice. And then another nice place to place highlighter is across the chest. Wunderbar. 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 Mm, my, oh, my, oh, my. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, how are you? And I'm going to start with my lip liner. And this is uh, from Bite Beauty. They just call it the lip pencil. If you don't know Bite, Bite is actually a Canadian company. This is very neutral. I don't know if you can exactly see. Slightly overlining. And then just blending into the middle just slightly. As performers, we know that the mouth is where you want a lot of the attention to be drawn to. But in this case, I'm not going to go for a bold lip. The reason being that I don't want to. <laughs> I do give, I have given many lectures where I specifically go for bolder looks on purpose. But for this one, because of the nature of the content, I'm going to stick with something less crazy. Um, the other, the other thing that I look for in a lipstick for, for a lecture is something that's very hydrating. I speak, this is, this, is, this is 45 minutes of speaking, right? And I will become very dehydrated. I will be passing a lot of air and frankly drinking quite a bit. So I want something that's going to be long lasting, give me a lot of pigment, but won't dry out my lips so that you get that weird consonant clammy feeling. You know, this is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche <laughs> in Eclair. French, because we're Canadian. <laughs> As if that were true of all things. So it's a liquid lipstick, very pretty. feels quite like a lip balm. It's not going to go anywhere. Lovely. So here's the final look. I'm all ready to go. Added my jewelry and I'm looking forward to seeing some of you, seeing some of you at the Nats conference. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have ideas about what you would like to hear from me in terms of beauty advice, putting looks together, feel free to leave me a comment. You can 
like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching me on YouTube, feel free to follow my blog, sparklinglipstick.com. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're interested in lessons or other professional content from me, do check out my website, www.rachelbgoldenberg.com. I look forward to hearing from you in the future. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. I hope you are all enjoying this opportunity to learn from home. I would like to thank you for joining us today. And we would like to extend that thanks to Nats for the opportunity. My name is Rachel Goldenberg, and today I am joined by my friend and colleague, Jessica DeMar. Taking my e.l.f. small tapered brush. Small tapered brush. See, this is why I need to warm up, because I'm about to give a massive lecture to voice teachers who will criticize my speech. Talk better, Rachel. Talk gooder. <laughs> Pro Glow Palette. Pro Glow Palette.